This is the Spartan Body and Mind Podcast. I'm your host, Seth Winterhalter, here to help you talk about tricks to grow muscle. How do we grow our muscle? What are some, I've been in the gym and I'm just kind of in a plateau and I'm kind of stalling out. How do I grow my muscle? Well, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you four things to consider when it comes to uh, tricks of the trade to grow some muscle that are kind of out of the out of the normal, out of the ordinary ways that we train. Uh, until then, uh, b- before that, let me just encourage you, Spartan Body and Mind, uh, we're here to help men become the best version of themselves, helping you reclaim manhood. What do we mean, reclaim manhood? Reclaim intentionality. Reclaim your purpose. Reclaim a vitality for life. How do we do that? We help you become physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy. We do that through our 90-day Spartan program. Uh, you can go to the Spartan program, three words, the Spartan program.com. Uh, fill out the form, set up a time uh, where we'll uh, chat with you and see how we can help do that. See if you'd be a good fit for the program. Again, we only invite five guys into that per month. It's a cohort group-based program uh, because we see more results when men are together rowing uh, in the same direction. So we'd love to have you a part of that. Uh, Hit us up and uh, we'd love to chat. Tricks to grow muscle, four things. Number one, rest, pause. Have you ever used the rest, pause? Rest, pause is simply, right? I do reps. I'm going to say I'm going to, I usually go in and do three to five sets of an exercise. I usually try to hit 10 to 12 reps. So let's say I'm on my third set of uh, incline chest press, right? Barbell. I've got the barbell. I do 10, 11, 12, and I set it down and I rest and I might even rack it, right? And rack it and rest. And count to 10 to 15 seconds. A rest pause is 10 to 15 seconds. No more, no less. 10 to 15 seconds. Unrack it. One, two, three. I do as many as I can until failure, and I rack it. And I do 10 to 15 more seconds, and I unrack it. And I do as many as I can until I can't do any, right? Usually it's probably three. You can probably do two more sets after your initial set. But the rest pause is a great way to really just destroy the muscle, really, uh, really fatigue it, right? Because failure, usually you, most of us psychologically don't really go to failure. We go to almost failure. It's like the princess bride. He's not dead. He's almost dead, right? We go to almost failure. So this is a great way to give us a little breather, come back and pump a little bit more, uh, really exhaust a little bit more. So you want to do more than just, uh, you want to try to do more than one set. You want to try to do two, maybe even three. Just the key is to just exhaust, exhaust, exhaust. So rest, pause, that's the number one. A great trick to implement to grow some muscle. The second thing is a drop set. The drop set is a little different. Instead of it being about pausing in time, you're going to drop some weight. So a great exercise is the side lateral shoulder, right? So you do side laterals. You might. So for me, I warm up. I'll grab maybe the 15s and the 20s, right, and go up to 30s. And so 30s usually where I hang out. I might go up to 40s, uh, 45s. Um, and so let's just say I'm doing 30s. I'm going to do 12, right? Oh, and then a drop set would be, I'm going to immediately, I'm going to rack those and I'm going to go down to the twenties and I'm going to do as many as I can with the twenties. And then I'm going to grab right the tens or, and it depends. You may see like if I'm doing thirties, I might go down to the fifteens. I might just half the weight. It just kind of depends on what, what would help. Like you'll see, maybe you do a leg press drop set. So maybe I've got 10 plates aside. And then I have them take off, right? I do it until until oh, I'm almost a failure, and then they take off a plate. And I do as many as I can, and they take off a plate. And I do as many as I can. Like you might see videos of drop sets. It's just when you're taking weight off and doing as many more as you can. And usually you take off, you know, you can go anywhere from it could be if you've got four plates on something, you take off one plate. Uh, so it would be a quarter. Probably you're going to take off a quarter of the weight, up to half the weight. Because if you only take off, you know, 10% of the weight, you're probably only going to get one more rep. Like you want to be able to really push as much blood into the, the ideas, right? You're just, you're giving that extra stimulation. And to do that, you got to be able to do, you know, at least three more reps. And so, you, you know, a drop set is going to help you. Another way is easy bar curl, right? Maybe I'm doing 60s. I rack it. I grab 30s. And I go, right? So drop set, try that. The, the easiest way is just drop it 50%. 
Uh, so if you're doing 30s on the dumbbells, drop it down to 15 and go after it until failure. Rest pause drops at number three, time under tension. So slow down the repetition. So this is where especially I want I want to just encourage you in your regular reps. Like remember you have a, a concentric and an eccentric. There, there are two movements in every exercise. The concentric is when it shortens. So if I'm going to do a curl, this movement shortens the muscle. So my muscle, right, it's shortened. The eccentric, it lengthens it. So this is important. I'm flexing it, but this is actually more important. The eccentric part of the of the exercise is usually where the muscle actually gets worked the most. This is not. This is where there's tension. And so that's the part we want to slow down. So I want to curl. You usually want to do the concentric motion with real action, right? I want to boom, and then I want to slow. Boom, and then I want to slow. Same thing like with a lat pull down. Boom, I pull down, and then I slow. See, usually we're the opposite. We do slow concentric, and then we let it go. Slow, and then we let it go. And it's actually the opposite. We should be doing the opposite. We should be violent in the concentric, and then we slow because that's where the muscle, like when we just let it go, the muscle totally disengages and it's not active anymore. You want to slow that down, and I want to be strong on the concentric movement and then slow on the eccentric movement. So think think about this instead of those words you might be like oh, what word was it again just think when i'm shortening the muscle i'm shortening my lats i'm shortening my bicep right uh the tricep i'm elongating it when i push down and i'm shortening it when i come back so boom or, or no the tricep is different long boom long boom tricep might be a little bit different but does that make sense so uh explode and Lengthen, explode, lengthen, time under tension, slow down the rep, take three, four seconds to make a rep happen. Uh, the final thing, so number one, rest pause, number two, drop sets, number three, time under tension, number four, supersets. This is where we do uh, like two, two or more, usually two back-to-back -back exercises. So I might do a squat right into a Romanian deadlift. Uh, and so I might have dumbbells for the Romanian deadlift, right? Uh, so I can do a squat with a barbell, rack it, go right into a Romanian deadlift. My favorite superset, I don't really do a lot, whole lot, I barely do any. My favorite one is leg extension machine right into a Bulgarian split squat because I use the, the pad on the leg extension machine to help to be my balance for the Bulgarian split squat. That will have you crying to Jesus. That you, if you really do the leg ascension well and really explode the quad and then go right into a Bulgarian, oh, it's death. I mean, you don't even need to wait. It's just brutal. And so uh, that's a good one to add. So again, rest, pause, drop sets, time under tension, supersets. Think about some back to back exercises you can do that would really like a, a great one for triceps is take the rope right into a tricep push down. And then spin around and drop drop the tricep rope down a little bit and then do the extension over your head, right? Push down into the rope extension. That's a great one. And there's just so many things you can pair together to really fatigue a muscle. So think about those four things and continue to grow your muscles. If we can help, let us know. Look at the thespartanprogram.com. Three words, the thespartanprogram.com. Check us out and... Uh, keep getting after it. Until next time.